pastview.com, or Retroview of Mankind's Habitat, is an open source project intended to aggregate the locational and rotational data, the perspectives of historical photographs as well as historical paintings. The project is headed by Ilya Varlamov, Alex Duke, Pavel Klimashkin, Dmitry Bashlow, and Anwar Paganini, and the open source project resides on GitHub as well. When you first enter the website, your location will be right centered on Moscow. Then you can scroll out, further out, and then you can scroll in to zoom in on your intended location. And as long as there are a multitude of historical photographs for a specific area, there will be these collections of X number of photos in this area. But if you further zoom in, you will see that these thumbnails turn into points with their direction clearly marked. These are the individual photographs. You can filter your search by restricting the range of the year that the photograph has to be taken. We can click and drag this slider and reduce it to perhaps uh, around 1919. And now we only see historical photographs that are taken before 1919. And it extends as early as 1826, uh, but uh, here in Stockholm at least there are very few, if any, from that time. If you want to change the background map, you simply click here on OSM. And the default is Mapnik, but you can change this to the Google Satellites as an example. For this example, we'll keep it at Mapnik. If you see a point with a number on it, you can click on it and then you will see that it zooms in until they are properly separated as individual photographs. But uh, if you extend the time range here and then we move to the castle and we zoom into the maximum here, we can see, we'll still see a number here. And then if you are maximum zoomed in and there's still a number, you simply click on it and you can choose which one that you wanted, the one from 1985 or the one from 1862. One thing to remember here is that the point of the photograph will be positioned of the approximate location of the photographer, not of the object depicted. So if we want a nice view of the city hall here, we can perhaps look at what this image has to offer. And when you click on it, depending on your setting here, whether you have toggled the opening of historical photographs in a new window, or if you want to open it in the same window, if you enable this, then you can keep this tab as it is. And if you click on it, it will open in a separate tab. We see the city hall during construction. And having found an interesting image to your purposes, the most important thing is to check the copyright status of the image. As long as you have filtered out the recent past, most historical photographs should be public domain. But you should always verify this. Each image has a source here, and if you click on this source, you will see that since this is an open source project with many, with many collaborations, you can actually see that this source was incorrect. So that's something to consider as well. So we clearly see here that this image is not the image that we want to use here, but we can see that since this was taken in 1916, 1917, somewhere around there, and this is in 1916 and this is in public domain, we can in good faith assume that this is also in public domain. If we take another example here with the city hall at a later date and click on this source, we can see that this is properly referenced and it shows that this is in public domain. So you just have to double check that you have the right to use it in your work. And when you have settled upon a particular image that you want to use, you can make sure to select the largest size of it to get the most fidelity to the original work. So here it's 1351 times 915. So we click here. This will open it in a new tab. And depending on whether you want to include a watermark here or not, you can either simply save this image or you can on Windows, it's the Windows key, Shift and S. You can take a snapshot and then you can simply take a snapshot of what you want to use. And then you can save this image instead here. We also want to show that pastview.com is not only exclusive to historical photographs, but also includes a mode for historical paintings. And here in the photos mode, 
You see that the time range ranges from 1826 to 2000. If we change to show paintings on map, uh, the range is instead from 1980 to 100 years before Christ. And uh, if we click here, we can see that this is the drawing made by Ragnar Ösberg before the final gestalt of the city hall, an earlier proposal from 1911. If the image that you want to use has a resolution that is larger than your screen resolution, then the screenshot method will not retain full fidelity to the high resolution of the original image, and then it is more appropriate to simply right-click and save image as, and uh, either crop away the watermark if you don't want it, or if you are sufficiently content uh, with uh, this resolution that you see on the screen and not this full resolution, then you can of course use the same screenshot method as before.